That's the sound of the new fire trucks that the National Fire Service received this week. The new trucks came all the way from Canada, but the organization only just received the emergency vehicles because of the months-long border closures brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Fire Chief Colin Gillett told the media yesterday that these trucks are a welcome addition, especially since the service will soon get its new headquarters. These trucks behind me were came about about two years ago when we received a truck donation from um, the Calgary Fire Station in Canada. The fire chief at the time, Mr. Mike Henson, he said, you know, they're, they're moving away from some of these trucks and they're gonna get some upgrades so these trucks might be available. So he started that process about how we can negotiate the price for them and um, how we can get them here. The government paid about $86,000 for these three trucks. That was a great price that we got, thanks to Mr. Henson and his team. Mr. Henson actually lives in Corozal now. He moved here, so he's also very ecstatic about these trucks. Um, so since then, the trucks have been in Canada waiting to cross the border. Because of the pandemic, everything shut down, so we couldn't um, get them over here. The idea was to get the use the Denton program, which is the U.S. Southcom uh, Humanitarian Assistance Program, on their planes to get here. So once we bought it, we started the process of getting the paperwork done to, so it can come on the Denton program. And that was actually finished a long time ago, but because of, again, the closed borders, we couldn't get them here. So these trucks are actually 2004 Spartan fire trucks. These are, the, these are the latest trucks we've ever had, right? Um, they hold a thousand gallons each and with very low mileage on them, we expect them to last a really long time. And that's certainly the hope of communities where they will be dispatched. Gillette explained that these new trucks will help with its response efforts, particularly here in Belize City. At the moment, we want two of them to remain here in the city and one to go to San Ignacio, or Santa Elena. What we've been trying to do over the last couple of years is get at least two trucks at each station, and these are the last places that we will require one. When we get to our new station headquarters on Chatham Street, one will be there so that we can then have a triangular attack for the city. And while the trucks were bought at a significant discount, this effort has been in the making for some time. Gillette explained that a lot of people had to come together to make this happen. First, we would like to thank the government of Belize for investing in these trucks. Because at the time, when a lot of our trucks were going down, this opportunity came up and we were like, and they were very um, happy about paying for them. Um, we'd like to thank our ministry, our minister Habet and CEO Kenrick Williams, because when the opportunity came for us to get the paperwork and get everything going, they were all on board and we facilit they facilitated a lot of that. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Mike Henson for arranging and lobbying for the, getting the great price on them. I'd like to thank the Denton program from the U.S. Embassy, um, who continuously pushes and allows us to get these trucks in on their flights for free. Which, if you look at the footage of the plane and how, the size of them, it's not a cheap flight for it to come here, right? Um, the, we'd like to thank Mr. Jason Bossert, um, from Literacy Without Borders, who lives in Canada. And they helped a lot with the paperwork because just to get the paperwork done for the program requires a lot of uh, things, right? We'd like to thank Mr. Will Stewart, a Calgary fireman and his firefighters who had to drive the trucks from Calgary to Montana to get on the plane, right? So that took, that was like a five hour drive just to get there. And from there to Belize, the trucks came to assist the National Fire Service, whose mantra remains creating a safer Belize. Dale McDougall, Love News.